For over 20 years, cities and agencies have trusted Carmana to provide them with safe, efficient, and sustainable transportation solutions. Our beacons and signs have set the industry standard for high performance and low power systems that are durable and easy to install. Carmana's MX series builds on that foundation to now provide cities with a better way to monitor, control, and gather data from traffic safety systems. And getting your system installed and reporting into the cloud is even easier with MX. Connectivity doesn't have to be complicated. In this video, we'll show how MX removes the complexity from the equation. How MX out-of-the-box connectivity works. With MX, connectivity isn't an afterthought or an add-on. It's an integral part of each system, baked into its unique design. This means every MX system leaves the factory pre-tested with operation-ready local and remote connectivity. From the moment it receives power on site, it creates a self-forming network, communicating both locally to Carmana's MX field app and remotely to Carmana's MX cloud even the individual components, or MX smart modules, join the network to provide any additional data and configurability, but more on that later. What makes up an MX system? A system is made up of MX modules, which are like model building blocks. These smart modules can be stacked together, more added at a later date, or swapped out without needing any reconfiguration of a central controller. Hi, I'm James, Product Support Technologist with Carmana Technologies. Today we'll be walking through the installation of a circular flashing beacon system to show you how MX's out-of-the-box connectivity works and just how simple installation is. For many connected beacon systems on the market today, connectivity can be very complicated and costly to implement. And as a result, cities have been slow to adopt connected solutions. MX changes that. Unlike other products, MX systems are comprised of smart modules that are intelligent enough to communicate with each other and identify new modules added to the system, yet simple enough to be connected together quickly and easily. All modules share the same four conductor connector terminals, allowing them to be mixed and matched to suit any project need. There are three main component groups required to install any MX system, starting with the power module, the power module provides power to any other connected module. In addition, it sends and receives key system functionality to and from those modules. There are four power module options available. They can be configured and solar sized online using our MX build tools to ensure long-term reliable operation. Next, we have one or more flasher modules. As soon as the flasher modules receive power from the power module, they will immediately begin flashing at default settings, or the flasher modules can be programmed to operate on a schedule using either the MX Field app or MX Cloud. Next, we have what we call our kits. We have a number of mounting kits for the power modules. We have kits for the flasher modules, and we have push buttons and other optional accessories for crosswalk applications. The steps to install an MX system are almost identical to our previous generations of flashing beacon systems and are just as streamlined, so you get the added bonus of connectivity without having to do any of the additional work. Step 1. Power Module Starting with the MX Power Module on the ground, first we'll install the top of pole or side of pole mounting kit, then we'll secure it to the pole. Step 2. Flasher Modules Next, we'll prepare and install the MX Beacon Module and MX Beacon Arm Mount Kit, connecting all harnessing and feeding it through the pole towards the power module. Step 3. Kits. For 24-7 flashing applications and school zone applications, typically we would only have the power module kits and the flasher module kits. For crosswalk applications, this is where we would install our pedestrian push button and any other accessories. Step 4. Power up. To complete the physical setup, we'll just install the batteries and connect the battery and solar panel harnesses into their appropriate and labeled connectors. The MX system will power up and immediately form its own network, broadcasting both locally to the MX Field app and remotely to the MX Cloud. No separate process is needed to install and activate remote connectivity hardware. It's just that simple. 
power up and you're reporting into the cloud. Each system will automatically start flashing with the default settings compliant to Federal Highway's MUTCD recommendations. For MX Beacon modules like we have here, it will flash for 24 hours a day with a half second on, half second off pattern at the MUTCD recommended intensity. If this was a 24 hour warning application, we'd be done. However, if this was a school zone application, it couldn't be easier to create a schedule and program the system using either the MX Field app or MX Cloud. Step five, MX Field app. With our MX Field app in hand, we'll simply pair to the MX system following the instructions provided on the power module interface label located behind the solar panel. The pairing gives us a temporary digital key which will be saved in the app for quick drive-by setting adjustments and maintenance. Once we've connected with the MX Field app, we can check the system's current status, link it with another nearby system to synchronize flash patterns and settings, update the system name or firmware, and more. To complete our school zone beacon setup, we'll program a schedule, either creating one on the spot or using one of our saved schedules and the MX system will begin operating according to those parameters. We can also log into MX Cloud to access our system remotely. From the cloud, we can monitor its health status, adjust the schedule, receive alerts, and much more. Our MX system is now installed and operational and ready to increase safety. When it comes to increasing driver and pedestrian safety and calming traffic, we're setting the new standard for safety infrastructure.